Four days in a hot seat that was in no favor, a terrain of panic must certainly have been long and strenuous for Kingsley Ongai, giving his account and soon after a rigorous cross-examination. And the contradiction is that whereas 15T indicates that as of 23rd November 2011, the windscreens had not been fitted, 15K indicates that as of July, 26th of July 2011, the windscreens had been fitted. The windscreen wipers had been fitted. Is that correct? Yeah, that is correct. Are you able to explain this contradiction? I'm not uh, able to, uh, to explain the contradiction, but uh, when I did the inspection of the aircraft, I Used, I, uh, I used the inventory was part of the document that I, I used the uh, 15K. In the finest of his obligation as the senior inspector in charge of air worthiness of the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority, numerous factual errors did not go hidden. There is no report yes. indicating uh, what <coughs> happened during this flight or flights yes. of 2 hours and 50 minutes. Yes. In France, we don't have that. Yes. And the question I'm asking you is: Does the absence of any such report have any bearing in relation to the process of certifying an aircraft or this particular aircraft in Kenya for airworthiness? No, it doesn't have uh, any bearing. And, and can you explain why it will not be important? Because this is one of the documents that you saw. Why would it not be important? Okay, because what we, we rely on is the, the number, or rather the, the hours that is indicated on the log. You, you, you really don't require the, like, uh, the, the flight uh, log to show that uh, there is a flight that took place. So what you're saying is that the regulations and the procedures that the KCAA do not require you to inquire about uh, flight reports uh, of this kind? No, it doesn't require. Giving little or no bearing at all to the inevitably critical procedures in the approval of the chopper in question, Ongai seemingly gave life to the proof of the trial as an officer, bestowed the full trust of undertaking a worthy and a solemn task of safety in the skies. You still confirmed that you actually physically inspected this aircraft um, on the 27th of August, 2011. Yes, I did confirm. And you take responsibility for that confirmation? Yes, I did. You wish to confirm to this commission again that you actually inspected this particular aircraft <coughs> physically on the 27th of August, uh, 2011. <coughs> Yes, I do confirm that the inspection of the aircraft will be 27th of August, 2011. At the time of certificate of airworthiness. So that could be now your consolation that yes. he did check at the time of certificate of air airworthiness. It emerged today that his trip to South Africa to inspect the chopper was not a formal one, but a mere telephone conversation. Ability to ensure the suitability of this particular component. Was it yourself, or your employer, or the person who installed that component in South Africa? It is the person who installed the component in South Africa. Were you under any obligation afterwards to verify the suitability of this particular component, say at the time when you inspected this aircraft for airworthiness? No. The chief licensing officer of the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority, Naomi Njambi Mwangi, also appeared before the commission soon after as witness number 16. Naomi, in respect, is an officer who accredited lead pilots Nancy Gitwanja and Luke Ayugi, both of whom died in the ill-fated plane, attesting they were no doubt qualified to take to the skies. How many hours did Nancy have? And how many hours did Oyugi have? as at the time they uh, were last 
As of 12 September 2011, when Nancy Gitwaja came to renew her pilot license, she had a total of flying experience of 864 and 50, 64 hours and 50 minutes. As at the time of her renewal of her license, that was 12 September 2011. What about uh, Yugi as at the time of the his last uh, appearance in office? As of 3rd April 2012, Captain Oyugi had 894 hours. 10 minutes. Naomi will answer her testimony on Monday next week when the probe team resumes its hearings. Samuel Tawish, GBS News.